now about teachers. So the we have a teacher, Elaine. Uh, Elaine is uh, been in United States what forty years, I think. Or Forty-one years. years. Forty-one yeah. years. And uh, Elaine came from Hong Kong, and then get all the education here. And she went to Cornell University, get her bachelor degree, then continued to Princeton University, got her master's degree on WE, worked for AT&T for a long time. Basically, all the professional career in AT&T. And she retired uh, a couple years ago as a director of AT&T. Then we have uh, Pastor Lee. And Pastor Lee is a... Uh, Pastor Lee came from Taiwan, and then he went through all the education in the United States. He actually started here first. Then he became a doctor, medical doctor, as the anesthesiologist. Then amazingly, he changed the line again, become a full-time pastor. And then he retires as a pastor now. And then you see the Sister Yan, Sister Yen is helping us to administrate all this effort. So her hard work make this possible. And then I'm not sure the Lena is here or not. Okay. We have she a, is. Yeah, we have a sister Lena Gauss. She is the expert in the family ministry, help a lot of parents. I say it's probably already a thousand of parents. And they grow spiritually because a lot of problems between the parent and the children. It's the spiritual maturity from parents' side. So the she's helped in classes for many of them. Okay. So maybe I'll give you everyone a pretty quick uh, whatever you like to say to the youth. So Yilan, we start from you. What do you like to say to the youth? Yes. Hello, everyone. I love spending time with youth. I've taught children and teenagers when we were in New Jersey for about 30 years. So I love spending time with you. So I look forward to working with you and getting to know you and build up relationship, even though it may be a challenge given we're from everywhere, but I'm sure we'll make it fun. So look forward to the weeks together. Praise the Lord. Now, how about Pastor Lee? you like to say something? Oh hi! Um, uh, I I've been in America since uh, age fourteen, and um, I have four kids. Um, my my oldest daughter just uh, shot. Uh, she was in a car accident and uh, she was oh. rear-ended. But then yesterday she went and bought uh, herself a, a two thousand twenty-one Mustang, Ford Mustang. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. And, Is that uh, the electric one? <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah. And um, her uh, her sister, younger sister, or my second daughter, is now serving in Baghdad as uh, wow. she is in, in charge of the security over of, of the embassy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, she's one of those uh, ninja things. <laughs> so okay that's it have anything that's else it. to say yeah. i i have a set of twin boys and um <laughs> but they are very very different yeah <laughs> okay good how about teacher lena anything to say <laughs> uh, hello everybody my name is lena um I English uh, very little. <laughs> so um, everybody, my teacher, teach me uh, English. So just that. <laughs> okay. So thank you, Lena. Yeah. Lena is an expert in the family ministry. Yeah. And she came to United States and uh, going to seminary now. Just a prior, a few years ago. Yeah. How about Yan? Sister Yan, do you like this, something to say? Hi everyone, thank you uh, is, uh, for being here and I'm uh, glad to see everyone here. Welcome and hope uh, you all enjoyed, have, have a good time and get inspired and motivated by God's words and also uh, know new friends, have a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you. Very good, thank you very much. So let's start moving on. 
Uh, let's talk about class culture first, okay? We need to have a like, uh, I like to have a very relaxed, uh, very fun environment for everybody to learn. So the first thing I think is uh, we trust all of you as a self-motivated individual, as a mature individual. So there's no pressure, no stress. We don't want to put the pressure or stress on anybody. You like to learn, you learn. And you like to talk to us, you talk to us. You have a question, you ask us. And even you want to, you know, have a more uh, relationship with us after the class, you can give us a call. And any question, any issue, any problem you run into in your, during your life, and we can talk about it. We'll be glad to help you. Okay. And that's our position. But if you don't want to talk to us, that's no problem at all. Uh, we want to treat each other like our friends, okay? So it's not necessary teacher, student. We just want to be your friend, okay? And you can share with us whatever you like to share with us. So we welcome any question or request for help. Like I say, everybody asks, when's the camp going to end? And our answer is whenever God, uh, God tells us to end, Okay. So the, this is an important thing for you to understand. It's the classroom culture is the way we're going to run this camp. And uh, I think a lot of you already see this flyer. And the basic, the, the purpose for this is, uh, okay, hold on. I don't see, I see the whole thing. What's the first word? Did you see that? Because of my screen, block the first word. P. Passion. Passion. Okay, passion. And uh, Elaine is very good at that acronym. He has a lot of passion for acronym. So she <laughs> likes to combine a lot of things into some word. Okay. So she helped us to do this. Passion, underlying goal. Everybody needs to have a goal. And responsibility, perseverance, outstanding vision, stamina, and encouraging character. So this is the purpose. Of course, we have a lot more about this. We're trying to help uh, all the youth build some character, okay? Now, how do we do it? Like, of course, our foundation is Bible because they always have something solid we can stand on, always have something absolutely right so we never can get confused. So Bible teaching is the most important thing for this camp. And team discussion, we have all the teachers and the students, and we can have all team discussion. And we want to read inspirational books. Uh, God doesn't give anyone all the wisdom, all the knowledge. God gives the different wisdom for different people, different intelligence. And uh, so we have to read a lot of books. And that's the way we can really know how powerful God is, how much knowledge, how much wisdom, everything. So it's important to read a lot of books. You know, the, one of the wealthiest person is uh, Warren Buffett and his partner, Charlie Munger. And basically, they just read books all the time. They just just digest all the knowledge, the wisdom from everybody. And so the Charles Munger actually had the joke say his his kids call him the book with two stick on the ground. Okay, it's just like a book all the time. And then we also like to learn from great leader in the history, and the daily exercise and team sports. This is very important because if you don't have a healthy body, you cannot perform successfully. Okay. It's hard. I wouldn't say it's impossible. I would say it's much harder. If God gives us a body, we need to keep it healthy. And daily practice of the principle. Principle, of course, means all the teaching from Bible. And we're going to bring a lot of sharing from a Christian young professional because we know you like to learn from the Peer from the one who's probably uh, close age to you, so that we don't want to just uh, all adults, which are probably have some generation gap. 
So we're going to invite a lot of Christian young professionals and to do a lot of sharing. Then we want to do the Christian business leader and successful professional career so that they can share with all of you and their experience. Then the devoted Christian parents, you know, we can see how devoted Christian parents actually help us to be more spiritually mature also. A spiritual leader, like a pastor lead, spiritual leader. And of course, the peers, a daily reflection. This is how we're going to approach this camp. Then I think we have mentioned a lot about the everyday greatness. So this is a very good book. And we encourage everybody to read through it. I know somebody probably doesn't have enough time to read through it yet. It's okay. Like I say, no pressure. And uh, you just take your time to read it. I myself is still reading it because uh, I'm not a fast reader. <laughs> so it takes me some time to read through it. I'm probably like a two-thirds through. I learned very I learned so much from this book. And this Stephen uh Stephen Covey, okay, is an awesome person, okay, to come compile these books. And he had all the other books also. I really highly recommend everybody to read these books. And also the book he wrote, okay, like a seven habit of highly effective people, one of the best. Like they sell the, like a millions of millions of copies. And for this class, what we like to do is it's a discipleship program and it's mentorship program. Discipleship program means we're trying to bring every one of you to be the Jesus disciple. Not our disciple, okay? Not our disciple. Discipleship means a disciple of Jesus. So we hope we can bring you a habit of how to follow Jesus' behavior, how to follow Jesus' life. And that's uh, make you a disciple of Jesus. So this is a discipleship. And be the mentor. So we want to help you on your life, you know, how to pick up a profession, how to find your talent, how to face a challenge and how to build a physical strength. So everything we can do, we like to help you. So equip yourself to be very, a very successful person in the future. So overall, this is the purpose in the, for this class. So I'd like to see whether Pastor Lee and the Elaine have some other comments. Yeah, we want to do life together. So as we go through every week for 45 minutes, we have some topic and sharing and we welcome for you to ask questions. We would like it to be more interactive, not one way lecture, because you don't want just another set of lecture. So right. we, whether you like to put in chats or ask questions, and as we learn from the Western culture, we want to speak up. Don't be just shy. We want to build up your confidence and help you to be the best you can be that God has intended. So relax, enjoy, just like how um, Uncle Ming explained to us. And respect each other. And of course, we welcome and we know God is here to guide us. So just enjoy and have fun. Speak up or raise any questions. Amen. Yeah. How about Pastor Lee? If any comments? Yeah, uh, I like uh, Elaine's, uh, uh, we, we want you to have fun because we want to have fun because uh, <laughs> That's we right. enjoy it. Uh, and uh, I love learning. I love uh, talking to people of all kinds and especially young people. And so, um, and it is true that uh, we have been through, uh, I mean, we have you know, spent more times and, uh, but uh, things are changing and we are also learning too. Yeah. And so, Amen. yeah. Um, uh, so there's a question. Like to learn new things. Yeah. Yeah. There's a question. Are we going to play games? <laughs> That's a, actually is a very good idea. Uh, it hasn't come to my mind, but that's a very good idea. I think the, I think Pastor Lee must have a lot of uh, idea on play game. On Family game. plays yeah. online game. Yeah. One of my yeah, favorite yeah. is code names. Oh, definitely so you guys that. are expert. You can make suggestion too and teach oh, yeah. us. We want to learn from you. Uh, that's a very important thing, yeah, because uh, you got very good on computer and the online game and everything. So if you have any good idea, uh, send us an email 
you know my email oh, I need to put on my email here yeah you can put on the chat okay hold on uh, so the Yilan can you help me to put it on it sure sure. Scary, so. sure 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 yeah no problem so any question just send me an email and or call me directly or send me a text message uh, Yilan will put my phone number yeah, also on the chat mm -hmm. yeah. my phone number is 214-603-7349 and uh then my email address minchangwan at gmail.com. Okay, this is very good. Now let's go to the can meeting logistic. We gotta get some logistic uh, set up before we continue the can. We gotta have a system. Uh, we will start meeting at 11 a.m. sharp. So please be in time. Uh, full attendance for one meeting is attendance of complete 45 minutes. Uh, we know that always something can happen, so we we'll give you the plus minus three minutes as a full attendance. Okay, of course, uh, plus is not a problem, <laughs> minus is a problem. So please always uh, join us in time. Okay, and uh, we're going to keep the attendance record, but we're not going to keep it. You're going to keep it for yourself. Okay, 45 minutes is one attendance. A teacher will talk for 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the topic and the content. And uh, if we have more time before 45 minutes is over and we open for question and answer, uh, we'll open for discussion after talk. You can leave after 45 minutes is up and we come here as a full attendance. And this kind of full attendance for you it's all on the system, okay. A question and answer might last longer. So if you're interested, you stay longer. If you're not interested, that's fine. You have some other important play video game, that's fine. Then you can just leave it and go play your video game. Okay. And please use chat room for interactive communication during Zoom meeting. And the land, I think we're all going to, whoever is not sharing, all going to watch the chat room to see what happened. Uh, good news, there's a reward system, okay? Four category for reward. The first thing, of course, good attendance. <laughs> Second thing is reading the book. Whatever the book will give you assignment to read it. And third is a homework assignment. I'm going to tell you the homework assignment at the end of the class, 45 minutes, and uh, then you can do the homework. Again, you do it or not, it's up to yourself to keep track of it. We're not going to review it. If you want to share with us, it's great. I'm going to work with Sister Yen to set up a file so that you can submit your homework assignment. And we definitely will read through it and uh, discuss with you. And the uh, fourth is a community service project. We hope during this process, during this camp, we can encourage you to come up with community service project. Community service project is very important. Practically, it's important for you to apply to school. And you can get to the help you get to good university because they know you're a good person. Not only a good person, you're a capable person. You can manage something and you can make something happen. And you can make something happen to help the other people. So this is very important. Okay, keep in mind. Even you're like a sixth grader, seventh grader, if you have any good idea to serve the community, you can work with your parents and say, let's do it together. And you can work with us, we'll help you. Okay. And we're gonna set up a register spreadsheet at the four columns, like A, B, C, D. And then you can just put your point by yourself according to your own judgment, okay? So this totally honest system, nobody going to oversee how you do it. Nobody going to check, say, is this really true? We trust you, like they we trust you. Okay, then how do we count the point? 10 points for consecutive attendance of certain session, okay? 10 points for consecutive attendance of certain session. And 10 points for finish reading the book of everyday greatness. Certain session, like the first certain session, start from today. 
one to next 13. Okay? And you keep counting yourself. And the finish a book of early greatness is 10 points. Doing the homework assignment, again, 13 sessions, any 13 session. At this time, it's not consecutive 13 session. Okay. Any 13 sessions, you get 10 points. And 50 points for community service project. So if you start a community service project, I'll give you 50 points. And then we're actually going to fund your community service project. If we think it's a great project and you need the funding, we'll work with you. Okay? And this is clear. Anybody question? Well, let me finish this, then we'll accept questions. So every point is equivalent to $1. Okay, actually, I have a face value for this. The total point will be redeemed as an Amazon gift certificate. So we'll give chance for data entry and the point redemption at the end of the 13 session. Okay. After the first 13, will come a redemption period. The next 26, 39, will keep going. And the video will be recorded and posted on the YouTube under the Use Camp 2021. So if you want to look at it, just use Camp 2021. Okay. So this is a logistic for the camp meeting. Uh, anybody have any questions? Samuel, did you raise your hand? Did you have a question? I saw you raise your hand. Oh, you can yes. put in the chat room also. You can put a chat room and answer. Yeah, go ahead, also. Samuel. I have a question. Um, where's the, where is the, like, um, registration spreadsheet. We'll be sent to you. Uh, Ms. Yan has a spreadsheet. It's a Google form. And then if you register, we have your email. We'll be sent to you and you can enter every week. Good question. But I thought if you register, you already know where the spreadsheet is. Is that not true? We need to send a link. Oh, okay. I thought everybody who registered, they already know how to join the link and enter the information. Yeah, I don't know. Yan probably didn't send it yet, right, Yan? So we'll, based on your categories, we'll review the spreadsheet and get ready and send to people. Right, Yan? Yeah, the spreadsheet right now is not, yeah. Everyone not, cannot see it. You, you can only see the form, but you cannot see the... the oh, they can only see the form. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. that's okay. So I'll work with Yan on the mechanism, how you can enter your data. But don't worry, because we have a 13 weeks for you to for us to come up with a system for you to enter data easily. You don't have to do it every week. You just uh, keep your own scoring. And end of 13 weeks, I will give you the chance to enter the data. And then we're going to reward you. Okay. It, it depends on you want to redeem or not. We can keep accumulating at the end of the year. You might get 100 points. That's great. We'll give you $100 uh, Amazon gift certificate. Okay. Any other questions? You're going to give everybody $100 in Amazon gift cards? Wow. If everybody <laughs> can get the full score, that's no problem. Wow. Okay. That's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't say it. very generous. He has yes, yes. helped. Very generous. He has helped our work with college students, thousands of dollars. He's very generous. We're thankful. Put this yes. way, it's a God give you the reward. Okay, I, the money off from God, so it's not my money. Don't, yeah. yeah, we're not sponsored by Amazon. It's sponsored by Uncle Ming. He is just a generous man. He's a good role model for us. He right. was blessed with very good money from his uh, Texas Instrument Vice President role, and he's not keeping it for himself or for his children. He's giving it away. Yeah, that's true. I think the God wants me to give away all the money I have because it's all from God. So the every dollar should be used for God's kingdom. And this definitely would, is very good for the use. Yeah. Would uh, would you be uh, telling them more about uh, community service project? I mean, you, yeah. Yeah, community service projects, whatever you like to do to help the community, and you can start it, okay? Give you an example, like uh, you want to form a team to help the community clean up the park, clean up the community. A lot of things you can do, okay? We're going to 
touch that a little bit more later, but it's up for your imagination. Okay. It's up for you to study and say, wow, what's the opportunity that I can serve the community? Okay. And uh, give you an example, this young lady just graduated from college and he started the Teach America. Is that right? Teach America. He doesn't have any working experience. Now it's like a huge project across the world. And thousands, thousands, very talented uh, young graduates, the Teach America, and go to the city, uh, big city, the slumber area slum area and to help all those kids to get a good education. It's just by one very young, you know, no experience, but he, he make it happen. I think every year they got a few hundred million dollar budget. Okay. Same thing as another lady to start a micro loan project. So a lot of things you can do. And I'm for sure if you very successful in the community service project, you can almost go to any good university you want to go. Just because your capability and your big heart. Okay? Any other question? Is that Charles? You have a question? You raise your hand? You can either type or speak up. Okay. So very exciting. This is a great start. Yeah. Uh, so there's a question: Do community service would community service include nonprofit? For sure. Yeah. Right. Community service. You can make money out of community service also. That's no problem. But then you give the money back to the community service. Okay. The bottom line is, uh, nonprofit means the profit doesn't go to the owner of the organization or go to anybody. Profit go back to the organization. Yeah. Any other question? And so, you know, I'll talk, tell more about my story next week. I do college application interview for Cornell and Princeton. So if anyone have questions related to college, I'll be happy to help as well. Yeah, we're definitely going to help you in the, uh, along this line. Help you find a good university, help you find uh, your passion or what kind of job you like. It's a, it's a it's so much challenge there, okay? And that's, that's our value. Definitely help you. Yeah. So uh, there's a question I, yeah. sent to me. Okay. How do you leverage a community service project? Some small, some with the team. Does project just already finish count? So it could be any community project that you find worthy doing, perhaps locally and perhaps online. So it's up to you, the sky's the limit, your creativity, like Uncle Ming mentioned. So it could be small, it could be with the team. So you could update that into the spreadsheet on the Google form that uh, Ms. Yen will send out and explain yeah. what your community project is. What is uh, that like for, go ahead. Yeah, this is a fun part. We don't want to tell you our idea because our idea is old. Okay, and uh, we have generation gap. We want you to come with your own idea, okay? It's new and it's unlimited. Our idea is always limited. We are old, okay? And you're young, your idea is unlimited. And your power is unlimited. Your energy is unlimited. So it's much better for you to just dream about something, okay? And I tell you, I'm not even kidding. It's quite possible before you end your high school career, you already have a huge project and uh, impress everybody. It's very possible, okay? So don't limit your imagination, don't limit your capability. Okay, just keep dreaming, keep dreaming. The bottom yes. line, the more people you can help, the better of it is. Yes, so the community project intention and the purpose is to help people, not to impress people, but to help and serve a need. So pray and be sensitive and aware of environment around you, locally or globally. There are many, there's need everywhere, especially during pandemic. 
Yeah. You will be very surprised and will be very happy and look forward to the ideas you can come up with, how to help people. So there's a question. Is there a deadline for the community service project, Uncle Ming? There's no deadline. Okay. Because we don't have a deadline for this camp yet. So there's no deadline for the community service project. Okay. And uh, you have a plenty of time to come up with a great one. And you can write down the plan, write down the proposal and work with your parents and uh, work with us. Like I say, we're, we'll be very glad to fund your community project. Help your community project be very successful. Okay. So this is more like a, you start your own business now. Huh? <laughs> it's a startup. <laughs> so you can give yourself a title called the CEO of this organization or chairman or whatever the fancy title you want to give to yourself. Okay. And we'll help you to fulfill your dreams. Is that a good deal? Yeah. And the funding, I don't see the limit for the funding. As long as you can make it good, make it big, we'll help you. Okay? Wow. How exciting is that? <laughs> I think that's funny. If I were young again, I would do something like that. Unfortunately, I'm too old now. Yeah. But I'm not giving up. Still coming up idea. How can I help the people? Yeah. Okay? Like this. This is incredible help. Like to this one is great. Youth. Yeah. Like this one is great. Okay, so the, no more question, I'm gonna move on. Like our job is to help you to succeed. Okay, and you can see all the picture of successful people. This is Charlie Munger, okay, this is Warren Buffett. You see all the successful people here. Okay, Mother Teresa, I think are great people. Not every one of them, I, I don't know. I don't know as everyone I mean, is that God's people. I don't know. But all I know is they do a lot of good things for the community, for the human being. Also, they're very successful in their professional career. Okay. And pretty much most of them are very rich. Okay. So the, this is, I really like to be, we really like to be able to help you from here. To there, but not here. There, we don't want to see you become drunk, depressed, and create a lot of chaos for the society, and have a broken family, unemployed. We don't want to see you in all this kind of problem. One you have a very good family, and you're very very successful in your professional career, and you help a lot to make this community better make this society more harmonic. And if you make a lot of money, a lot of people know you. And like uh, most of them just give away all the money back to society. And this is what we like to see you in the future. Okay. And this is our purpose. And we hopefully, we really hope in this camp, we can make a difference for you. We can help you find out God's plan for you. And you can use all the God's energy and the God's wisdom to lead you to here. Okay? And then maybe 20 years later, you remember us, you're going to buy a New York steak for us. Treat us a New York steak dinner. Okay? Uh, Uncle Ming loves steak dinner. <laughs> okay, then the success if i ask anybody want to be successful i don't think anybody will reject ideas oh i want to be successful okay i don't think anybody will say i want to be a total loser in my future that definitely is not going to happen but then the success it's a big word how do you measure success how do you measure success in a professional career how to excel in your job, how to find a job you can succeed, how to balance life, how to equip yourself. So now I like to have some interactive question with communication going. Please type in the WeChat room. What's your definition of success in two sentences, two or three sentences, or a few words? I like to see what's your comeback. What they come back to? What's the definition of your success at this moment? 
What's your dream about being a successful person? And then Elaine can help us too. Yeah, yeah. Waiting, you guys. Waiting. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll, give you a, we'll give you 30 seconds. Yeah. Think about it. If you've never thought about what a success is all about, then you need to think about it. Because if you don't think about success, most probably you end up with a failure. Okay. Yeah, sorry for the confusion. We met the chat right here, not WeChat. Sorry about that. So just type right here in your chat. Yeah, you can find the chat room. Just type in what do you think. Yeah. It would be fun to see. You want to be a president of the United States or you want to be... Yeah, how do you define success? Yeah, what do you define success? Being happy while working. Success for me is being happy and having God. Wow. Wow, praise the Lord. Success is com accomplishing a task or purpose. Okay. Please put a long term as a person. In your life journey, how do you define the, your dream about being a successful person? Success is when you... There are many coming up. Success is when you do better than before and you have a positive attitude doing it. Financially independent, enjoying time at work and doing something important to myself. Feeling fulfilled and purposeful. Making and achieving goals. Accomplishing your personal goals and trying your utmost without leaving regrets. Happy that you have accomplished something and glorifying God. Having love. Happiness and God in my life. Making an impact bigger than yourself. Wow. Use your full talent to the utmost capacity to glorify God and help people. Improving. When you eventually reach the stage when you help others, help God and really living life. Ap accomplishing goals and having God in my life. Realizing your potential, glorify God. Happy person and achieve my goals. Accomplishing personal goal with many other small goals to get there. Wow, thank you. Wow, I tell you, this is exactly why I love to be friends with uh, youth. So many times I've seen the youth, I have to say this, okay. <laughs> more mature than the adult, okay? A lot more mature than the adult. If I ask the adult this kind of question, I don't get this kind of impressive answer, okay? Uh, this is really, really impressive. Praise the Lord. And this is what I expect. And this is why I make a, this kind of camp so exciting. Uh, you can actually teach us a lot of things too, okay? You know, the way you're thinking, the way you're stating it, it's a pretty amazing. I wish I can compile it and publish and send it back to all the people. Of course, without a specific name. Uh, so, Pastor Lee or Yen, can we compile all this uh, WeChat at uh, the chat history and publish it? Uh, yeah, it I... could be. Yeah, easy copy and paste and remove the names. Uh, even after the meeting, can we do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they keep the record. Yeah. Or okay. we can just copy and paste from here. And as a host, you can always go back to your chat history. Oh, yeah. I think this is so fun. You know, so much fun to see all this uh, mature answer. This is why I think that I'm very confident some of you will come up with a great community service project. And I tell you, we'll fund it. Okay. You do whatever you think is good and you make it happen, we'll fund it. We'll help you dream to come true. Okay. This is awesome. Just look at your answer. It's awesome. You know, you cover everything. Small goal, big goal, and stay with God and fulfill your dream. Ah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, now we only have two minutes. So you ready for the answer for the definition of success from Bible? Here it comes. Definition of success should be fully developed and you like the talent as well as resource God has given to you for manifestation of God's glory that make this world a better place in his kingdom. This is as good an answer as I can figure out. 
So if you can help me even improve it, okay. But this has to be based on people. Success is fully developed and utilize the talent as well as resource God has given to you for manifestation of God's glory that make this world a better place in his kingdom. It's a very big, big, big statement, Nara. And this is the homework assignment for the first session. Please study and do some reflection on this definition of success. And write down your think process. And if you like to talk to your parents, talk to your parents, say, what do they think? And then, of course, whatever the yellow word, I'm highlighting it, is the one I like you to define even more. What do you mean by talent? What do you mean by resource? What do you mean by God's glory? What do you mean by his kingdom? Okay, you have all the weeks to think about or even <laughs> Many more weeks to think about this all the time. Okay. And then just come up with uh, your answer. And then uh, keep it. You can always put on the Word document. For all the homework assignment, put on the Word document. And then I will collect later. Once we figure out the mechanism with the Yen, uh, we're going to collect all your feedback. And then we're going to share with everybody. Okay. The definition of success is fully developed and utilize the talent as well as resource God has given to you for manifestation of God's glory and make this world a better place in his kingdom. I think our 45 minutes is up. So let uh, Pastor Lee to lead us as a closing prayer. Then if you have a question and answer, you can stay longer. If you don't like to stay longer, you can leave. No problem. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for uh, this time. And we know that uh, this is just a beginning. And we pray that um, uh, as you, uh, your Holy Spirit was st stirred uh, in all the pe young people here. And um, not just getting them excited, but also that uh, they would now start to see things from your perspective. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray that... Um, that you'll be continue to be with us till we meet the next time. Mm -hmm. And again, that um, continue to, uh, to help us to see that how we could be more like you in mm -hmm. every way. In this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I got like, um, next week, I, we're going to have Elan share his uh, her life journey. Okay, and then see the weather, Elan. The journey of life meet the definition of success. Okay, so this is <laughs> first, first That's a good test. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Could could I say something? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for for those of you who are listening, uh, I wish that uh, when I was at your age, that somebody would challenge me with a uh, hundred dollars to to start a project. <laughs> However, let me uh, let let me just uh, encourage you with this. Um, always think big. Uh, I'm very appreciative that I'm so thankful for my father and even people when I was younger. They never, what do you call it, uh, in, the, in the Chinese way that they dump cold water on, on my little fire. And um, they never said that was a stupid idea or that was not smart or that's not practical. Um, um, well, now it's going to, we, we're going to call him Uncle Jiang. Yeah, that he is willing to uh, seat you, S-E-E-D, give you $100 <laughs> and, uh, for a project. You, if I were you, I would go around and turn and to say, this, this uh, Texas Instrument Vice President agreed to give me $100 to do this project. And you ask somebody else, says it, could you help me also with $50? And uh, <laughs> this is what my project, and you share the, your visions, you share your idea, and this is not limited just to a $100 project. 
you could be doing big things. And that's what they call leverage and amplifications. Amen. And uh, that's how people start. Okay, that's it. Good. God bless you. Anybody have any questions? Yes, thank you. Food Pantry is a community service. So many people are private messaging me and asking. So service project is to serve the community. Serve a need that you see and matching with your interest, your talent, and coming up with a creative idea to meet those needs and meet the people's need. And you can also form a team to serve this community project together. So the sky's the limit. It's very, very exciting. I think it's very good and help you to build a leadership. You know, once you have a good leadership, it's a lot easier for you to be successful in the future because you can use other people's resource to reach the same goal. Okay. That's a very good question. Yeah. Any other question? Okay. 3,000 people, 3,000 people a day is, uh, are dying in, in, uh, in India because they have no oxygen. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you can come up with an idea of helping them. Yeah. Which country has the most COVID-19 deaths? What's that? Which country has the most COVID-19 deaths? Oh, you, uh, I don't I know. I think India uh, now. I think it's India yeah. now. Yeah, I think India now. India has like uh, probably half a million they catch the COVID-19 now, and they usually probably 3% people will die. So probably 15,000 people die every day now. Yeah. India had the biggest population also. Yeah. How many people live in India? 1.38 billion. Yeah. What about, what about China? 1.44 billion. Yeah. Um, okay. India is going to catch up soon. That's correct. Yeah. Testly is a walking database. Any questions? Yeah. No, this is good. With numbers. I'm, I'm glad you have this interest. Bye. Okay. The Chinese population actually is going down now because of the aging problem. And the India population is still going up. So I would expect in two years, India population is going to be bigger than the Chinese population. Instead of Alex, just ask Dr. Lee. Yeah, that's right, Dr. Lee. <laughs> no, the, yeah. all, all those knowledge are because I use Alexa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, any other question? So there are a few questions, private message to me about community service project. If you have an interesting idea, but don't know how much it may take or if you may have skill to do it. So my answer is that God will meet us where we are, provide what's needed, start with the idea to plan and pray and share yeah. it. Uh, we can actually show you how to start a project, how to plan for a project and how to execute on it, okay? You have to have a plan first, okay? That's why the Americans saying the good plan lead to good result. Bad plan lead to bad result. No plan lead to no result. Okay, so write down your plan. And we'll work with you. I'm glad everybody's so excited about this uh, community service project. This is awesome. I love this. It is, people. absolutely. I love this and this will people. go a long way in building your life skill, in meeting people's needs. This is huge. In college application, we always ask, what kind of community service do you do and how did you help people and what did you learn as a leader in serving? So very thankful to Uncle Ming encouraging us. You learn so much and he's even showing us how to plan and how to execute. So that's very valuable skill. Yeah, community service, not just to fill the credit number and uh, get, get into the school. That's not the purpose. The purpose is something big. Yes. It's Amen. commitment. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad to see so much excitement. Now that's proof all young people have so much. I all have a big heart. Young people have such a big heart. Yeah. Another question, do you have to initiate a project that's working for another organization, service project count? Anything. It can help it 
people, make this world better, do it. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be just your own idea. It could be another organization that's helping a community that you're part of. Yeah, yeah. That's what we call the leverage existing system, okay, to do your job, which is a very smart idea, Lara. You definitely don't want to do everything from the scratch. You want to leverage existing organization system and to reach your goal. Yeah. But um, yeah, even for working for another organization, but if you could somehow f- find more people to, to do what you do, that is a, that's, that's a project within a project. Yeah. That's right. Which is your project. Yeah. Another question, does volunteering at an animal shelter count? Of course, of course. You're helping, yeah. You're helping the people, you're helping the animal, of course. But don't limit yourself, just do that, okay? Because a lot of you do that. And think about how do you make it bigger, okay? Yeah. So uncrewing is very flexible, right? It's up to you how to be creative and caring to meet people's need. That's right. And the most important thing, pray, okay? Because our human beings' imagination is limited. So if you pray, then God will give you a vision, say, okay, you can Mm -hmm. do this, you can do that. Suddenly, boom, you just uh, get out of the boundary and get out of the comfort zone, and suddenly you can do a lot of big things, okay? Don't just follow other people's steps. It's, not, it's nothing wrong to follow other people's steps. But try to do something more creative. Great. Any other questions? And feel free to drop if you have no questions. See you next Saturday. So okay. it's 11 p.m. Central. Yes. Yeah, see you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll see you. Thank you. And you received the link for the Google form. So... Uh, yeah, I work with Yen on the mechanism how to, so they can actually enter the data point and also the send up the home assignment or the other idea. We can review it. Okay. Yeah, we do have recording. Someone's asking, and we'll send out the site where the recording will be posted. It will be the Youth Cam 2021. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. So, Yen. If you can call me, so I'll talk to you about the, how the ideas, you know, about data mm-hmm. entry and uh, collect their Word document. Okay? okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next week. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. See you next week. Nick, uh, you, you uh, what do you call it? Um, 可以这个, um, um, 就是有人都可以, uh, they, you can encourage them to share their project now. I mean, that, that will fill up a lot of you. I mean, not, not just filling time, but then it would uh, allow them to share. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say I need to work with Yen on this uh, share file. So they just submit it into this file and we can just review it. Yeah. No, no, no. What, what I mean is that they, they can even uh, share in the question and answering session. Uh, 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 featuring one or two, yeah, one or two. If, I think it'll probably give them a time to think about it, write yeah. down the word document, then we can share about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We, we'll, you can email when the recording is available. Should be in a few days. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. You're in our database and you receive the email. Bye bye. See you next week. Jiang Min. Okay. Microphone是你的laptop的microphone吗？你说我的啊？啊，对，呀，我是这个耳机。哦哦哦哦，因为它声音是那个有一点弱，所以我就在问。哦，OK，OK，那这样会比较清楚。嗯，现在好。呀，
下礼拜见。那个夜你就可以 email 所有注册的人了哈，你们讨论了以后。对、yeah, ，OK， 拜拜，拜拜，我会把那个 chat 发给你们。OK， 拜拜，拜拜。有一个很有意思的，呃，学生说这个 unbelievable， 你们 so willing to help people， and I said God is unbelievable， <笑>好可爱。<笑> OK， 谢谢曹燕，你做的工作量最大了。<笑>哎呦，很多还不知道怎么做的学习。呀、yeah, ，好，拜拜。拜拜，拜拜。